Hey, plant fam. Um, it is just me here, all about my lonesome tonight. No Jordan. I've sent him off to work and earn money to put a roof over our heads. And I worked all day. He can work all night. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is a video that I had originally intended on getting it a little bit earlier. Uh, things have just gotten kind of crazy. And... I need to share some stuff with you guys. So, um, I have 500 subs. Actually, I almost have six now. This is, it just, it all happened so fast. Literally, today is Tuesday, Wednesday. What is today? <laughs> no, today is, oh my Lord. I think it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. And I got, I hit 500 subs on Friday and I'm almost at 600, which may not seem like a lot to you, but I am so, so grateful. Like you can't, I can't, I have, I got, I have no words. Um, anyways, so that is what this video is about today. I also bought something new that I'm gonna try that I want to show you guys I don't know if you've ever used it before so I'll uh that'll be kind of at the end of the video but first it's all about this this 500 thing so yeah stick around I have lots to to show you and to yammer on about as usual Hi. Okay. <sighs> so first and foremost, I want to say thank you literally to each and every one of you. I never imagined <laughs> like, okay, number one, I never thought I would do videos on YouTube. So there's that. Um, secondly, I, I certainly, when I started this whole thing, never really thought with any, you know, um, I don't know, like a uh, realistic thought process that anyone would actually watch any videos that I posted. So I literally want to thank every single one of you. Uh, I appreciate you so much. And uh, I know I'm a small channel, but every single one of you guys makes a difference. Um, some of you comment all the time and I absolutely love having that interaction back and forth with you. I think it's so much fun and it's really nice to, you know, to get that personal kind of one-on-one -on -one thing. So, okay. So, thank you <laughs> so much. Um, and you know what? We're slowly creeping up on a thousand. Maybe not so slowly. I don't even know. It's just like, I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> okay. Sorry, that was probably a little much. <laughs> okay, so something I wanted to tell you. I got a new plant. Jordan ordered me this plant. Um, he actually got it from House of Monstera. Um, we kind of knew that they had this plant and I've kind of been wanting it. And so... Jordan ordered it for me. So first I will show you this plant because it's so cool. Okay. Look at that. Can you see those leaves? I really am awful at this. Where's Jordan when you need him? He was like really good at doing this. Is that focusing? Why? I'm sure you can figure out what it is. Uh, okay, so this is an Eglionema Pictum tricolor, and it is soft. It is camouflage. It's so beautiful. I can't, if you've never seen pictures of this plant, Pick up your phone right now. I'll wait. Pick up your phone, tablet, something. You got it? 
Okay, go to Google. You got Google? Okay, type in Aglionema Pictum Tricolor. Hit images. Pow! Mind blown. So that is what this is. It also has a bunch of little, I'm not sure if you can see them from there, but there's a whole bunch of new little leaves coming in. Why is Jordan able to do? It's me. It's me. <laughs> it just hates me. Okay. Anyway, so Jordan ordered me this plant as kind of a 500 sub gift, um, which was so, so amazing. So what was even more amazing? So I honestly wish I had a recorded me opening this box because okay I will explain to you the story I will set him over here actually before I knock him off hold on so I'm at work and the box comes and I'm like yay and I wasn't gonna do uh, an unboxing with this one so I knew I was gonna open it at work so I open the box and I, I take out the top papers and stuff like that and, you know, do my whole, yes, I did do that at work as well. Um, and then I noticed there was two plants in the box and I, Eli, go lie down. Ow. Um, so I was very confused because I was pretty sure that we only ordered one or Jordan only ordered one. So I pick up my invoice and I look at it and I notice that there's this note. I'll put a picture of the note right here, but I'll read it to you. <laughs> Hi Nikki, congratulations on your 500 plus subscribers. Included is your APT and a gift from us. Smiley face. Enjoy. And then it's signed Christian and Bryce. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. And then I thought, I can't even imagine what it is. They have like my wish list. They know the plants that I'm looking for and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, I mean, the possibilities were endless. Really, my list is like, like it's, it's long. So... First, I opened the tall one because I was pretty sure that the tall one was my Pictum. So I opened that. Of course it was. I loved it. I was like, ah, oh, so exciting. So then I pick up this other plant and I was like, I don't know what this is. I can't even, I can't even think of what it might be. And literally they have so many gorgeous plants that I literally couldn't even fathom what it might be. So I cut the little top flap. I flipped it open, squished a little so I could see in the top, and I peek in. Guys, I lost my mind. Boom! I, my knees almost gave out from underneath me. I, <laughs> I got tears in my eyes. Let me tell you, everybody, all my coworkers are looking at me like I am that, like I'm guano. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, because they don't really get the whole plant thing, which I totally understand because not everybody gets the plant thing. You guys get the plant thing. So, you know, that's that's good. But I saw what was in <laughs> the package and I was beside myself. So I'm going to show you. Are you ready to see what the other plant was? Yes, that is a Monstera Albo Borsigiana. The insert cheering sounds. <laughs> Editing Nikki's to insert cheering sounds here because this is amazing. I was absolutely floored and astonished and shocked and happy. <sighs> so. This is like my top wish list plant. 
and he may be little, but he won't be for long. So look, there is a new leaf. Can you see? I don't know what I... Jordan and I are going to have to have a conversation about this. Okay. <sighs> so, I, I now have an Alba Borsa Gianna. Bryce and Christian, I'm, I missed the table. Thank you guys so, so much. You have been so kind. Um, you listen to me yammer on constantly. <laughs> and uh, I really appreciate that. So that is such an amazing, amazing gift. And uh, definitely was not expecting um, anything for that matter, let alone what you sent. And I thank you so, 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 so much. I am ever so grateful. Thank you. Okay. Y'all are probably hearing me like and going, okay, what was that thing you bought? I know, I know. Okay. So. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So this thing I got, I noticed that a couple of my plants had these tiny little black, they almost look like metal shavings crawling around. Not a lot, like maybe I'll see one or two a day on a couple of my plants. And if you know indoor pests, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? So. Naturally, I lost my mind. Um, I have some very special plants in my collection. <laughs> um, some very expensive plants in my collection. And I am not having this whole pest situation. So, as any rational person would do, I went on Amazon. <laughs> okay, so I will tell you, mosquito bits, you know that shaky pack that y'all have down there? Can't get that. We have these things called mosquito, mosquito dunks. They're these little things. And a six pack costs like 30 or $40. Nope. So I thought I need to battle bug with bug. Bug with bug. This product sounded aggressive. And I like aggressive when it comes to saving my plants. So I bought the grub grenade. I'm so excited. I haven't opened this yet. I got it today. So let me show you. So there are 5,000. Can you read that? I don't know. I'll read it to you. There are 5,000 soldier mites in here, otherwise known as predatory mites. Um, so this little thing, which is like just a little bit bigger than my hand, Covers 5,000 square feet. I think I'm good. Um, so it says predatory soil mites. Strac Stratolapis gymetus. That might be more difficult than, than Latin botanical names. Can you see that? I'll just write it on the screen. <laughs> so it says the natural way to control plant pests annihilates fungus gnats, root weevils, springtails. Thank you, neighbor dog. Uh, thrips, pupa, and more. I'm excited to open this. So I thought. I would get the plant in question after I tuck these guys safely back in their homes. Um, um, anyway, so I'm going to grab the plant in question and we're going to open this. And we're going to check it out because I, I feel like I don't think I've seen anybody actually do that. So we're going to do that. We're going to open this grub grenade and we're going to see what it looks like and we're going to we're going to kill some thrips. Yes. Let's do it. 
So this, if you've never seen one before, is a thrip. It is an ugly, <laughs> see if I can get in close, hold on. I think that's about as good as we're gonna get so this is what makes these little guys so difficult because they are so so small like in relation here's my finger they're like they're so tiny okay so that's what we're working with here guys that is the thrip on my colocasia and I am not having it. Okay, so here's the plant. Here's the plant. <laughs> I had to put my glasses on for this. I'm gonna open the grub grenade. I just thought it was like, like, look at this guy. <laughs> he reminds me of that sergeant. If you guys have seen Full Metal Jacket, which I'm like a war movie buff, so like I love war movies, and it just kind of reminded me of him. So, okay, oh, I'm actually really nervous to open this. I don't, <laughs> I don't want like mites all over the place. I mean, oh boy, oh right, sorry. I read the directions, and it said I had to like kind of move them around a little. It said not to shake them like vigorously because you don't want to um, kill the mites because you know hold on hi okay so I'm just kind of like oh, my dog wants in hold on okay I let the dog in see this is why I haven't been wearing my glasses in the last couple videos Sorry about the rings on my eyeballs. But these are mites. And if I don't put my glass on, I can't see Jack squat. Okay, so I'm gonna bend you back down here. Whoop. Okay. This is a new angle for me, so I don't I don't know. Okay, we we gently shook it. So in here is, oh boy, <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous, it's not like, oh my gosh, look at them. Can you see them crawling? They're so tiny. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually, where'd that leaf go that had one? I don't know. I've got them crawling on me, look. They're so little. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so what it says to do is, so they all come in this stuff. I've got little, look at them. Normally I'd be weirded out because of bugs, but these are little good guys. Look, he's crawling on my fingernail. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know where he went now. <laughs> They're so tiny. Okay, so I'm going to put these guys in here. And apparently they can actually smell the, the thrips or... Can you see any of this that I'm doing? No. I'm so sorry, guys. Hold on. Okay. So they're all attached to this stuff. So there it is. And I'm going to, let's see, let's see this. See this right here? I'm just going to, oh, I put some on this side already. I'm going to put some in here and in here. And they can actually smell the, the, um, the thrips and the larvae or whatever other pest 
and they will actually seek them out and uh, and kill them and eat them and oh here's another little guy god they're so small I'm just kind of collecting them here again normally I'd be so weirded out but these guys are here to help so I'm gonna let them do that um, oh there's another one I know you probably won't be able to see this because it's just so so small but where'd he go where'd he go I don't know okay so I this sheet hold on let me grab it I'm gonna rearrange you hold on okay so this is what you get I don't know if I should close that. If I knock it over, we're all in a world of trouble. Okay. So, it actually gives you a little background on these things. So, it's thank you for your purchase. And then it says that really brutal Latin name that I can't pronounce. It's such a versatile and efficacious. FSC, FSC. Okay, I'm pretty good with the English language. This word I've never heard of. Ephesacious species uh, of predatory mite. We are so excited to be supplying a healthy and hungry culture um, to you for taking care of your target pests in the microscopic world. They were first observed and reared by Dr. Dave Gillespie of Agriculture Canada. They're Canadian mites! <gasps> Yay! That's exciting. Um, in Fraser Valley, British Columbia, about 30 years ago, the culture was then passed on um, to and, oh, sorry, to Applied Bionomics Limited in North Saanich, BC in the late 1980s, where it was commercialized, still produced and shipped worldwide today. Um, <clears throat> research continues for this amazing species of mite, most recently for controlling of the Varroa mite. Anywho, I thought that was super cool. Um, so on the back here, it kind of tells you how to treat and uh, like recommended amounts or application. So preventative for growing area without pest history. So 10 mites per foot see here's the thing how do you know like I mean when they're on that the like that stuff that's in there how do you I'm not picking them out and counting them I don't know I should probably put some more because um, so it's preventative for growing area with pest history 25 mites per foot so here's my thing. These you can actually apply on plants that you haven't seen an outbreak on. Um, so I think I'm going to go around um, to the plants that I saw these on and I will put some in the soil and then I will put a little extra on the, or sorry, and then I will put like a smaller amount, like maybe a scoop or whatever on the plants that I did not see any on as like a preventative measure. But I think this is super cool. I will keep you guys updated on this whole grub grenade situation. Um, if it works, it'll be great. The reviews were amazing. Because I always read reviews and I typically don't buy something if it has crap reviews. This didn't have crap reviews. So, we're going to give it a shot and I will give you guys an update. Okay. So I have taken this. And I've put it everywhere. Honestly, these guys are so cute. They are so, so tiny. I wish that I had a camera that would... Fungus not. You're, you're going to die very soon. Um, or at least your larva is. Um, I wish I had a camera that could pick up how tiny they are and how cute they are. Because literally I had like little ones crawling on me and... Normally bugs kind of wig me out, 
spiders especially. Um, but I don't know, I feel like these guys were here to help, so I was okay with that. So anyways, I will keep you posted on how this is working. Um, I do check my plants daily, um, usually twice a day, once in the morning when I get up, and then once when I get home from work. Um, if you can get into the habit of doing that, honest to God, it's going to be a lifesaver for your plants because you're going to notice things, you know. When you're looking at your plants all the time, like I usually do it while my coffee's brewing. So in the morning I'll get up, I'll throw the coffee on to brew, and I will go around, turn on all my lights, and then I will inspect each plant, top and bottom of the leaves, and so on. Um, you'd be surprised at the things that you'll catch, um, whether it just be like a leaf that looks a little off, or a speck or a spot that you hadn't noticed before uh, that could potentially be a pest. Um, if you do that, your pest problem will never be out of control because you're going to nip it in the bud as soon as you see it and as soon as it happens. Now that's not to say that something's not going to slip through the cracks. You know, we have big plants. Uh, sometimes it's difficult, like my Monstera, for example. It's like, it's huge. So, but I take the majority of the leaves really quick and I'll just kind of give them a flip over and I'll kind of look. And, um, you know, it may seem like kind of a pain to do that twice a day. But it's going to be a bigger pain when you're battling a ginormous infestation of pests. So, anyway, I will keep you updated on that. I will let you go. This was, again, supposed to be a quick video, but it's what I do is how I roll. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, again, a huge, huge, huge thank you to all of you who subscribed. If you haven't yet, please do so. It's a huge help. And... Literally, I, when I tell you I appreciate every single one of you, I, I honestly do. Um, and I like talking to all of you. I know there's a few of you I haven't spoken to yet. Get typing. Say hi. Just say hi. Say, hey, Nikki. I'm here. Hello. Just so I know you're there. You're not like a creeper sitting in the shadows just watching. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just kidding. If you want to creep us in the shadows, that's okay, too. Anyway, again, thank you. Have a lovely evening, weekend, day, month here, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Mwah.